Hello everybody, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Shining Force CD. Last time we uh, made it to Chapter 2. And now uh, we picked up a new Force member after liberating Minium. Uh, that is Claude in the back there, the Birdman. We are gonna go ahead and uh, have a little chat with him real quick. Let's see if uh, other people have anything else to say as well, I guess. You're the best swordsman in Guardiana. Oh, my sweet young boy. I believe that honor goes to Nick. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, eh, he doesn't have much to say about it, though. Yeah, alright, so all, all the dialogue is the same. That's not surprising. We can, take, we can take a quick look at Claude here. So, uh, 21 attack, that's a bit low. But he is only level 6. So, uh, we'll, we'll get him there eventually. I, I did buy him a, a, a medical herb. And, uh, we've got... Nick here, who has a, uh, a middle sword that we got last time, and then I also gave Shade uh, the Steel Arrow. So, uh, that's pretty much it. Nothing uh, too terribly uh, amazing going on. Let's go ahead and see if we can get to this village. I like the, uh, the color of this map. Oh, it's some, it, looks, it looks very uh, lush, I guess. That, that seems like a good word for it. And uh, I think this uh, this was Azrit Island, if I recall. So uh, anyway, he's got a hand axe, wooden staff, and a medical herb. Nothing there. Uh, antidote. Wooden arrow. A couple new types of rats. A little pallet swap actually going. Actually, this is quite the little bastion of enemies we got here. Could be uh, a little bit risky. Going uh, through there. Whoops, didn't mean to, to do that quite yet. Medical herb. Is that everybody? I guess it is. I do wonder if a uh, an ambush will end up happening at some point, uh, as has happened in other Shining Force games. Um, I guess we have to go across the uh, the bridge or through the mountains. The bridge is a bit more. Yeah, is it more dangerous though? I don't think it is. I'm gonna go for the bridge. We uh, we could go through the mountains, but uh, Apis is gonna lag behind pretty substantially, and uh, it's gonna be tough even for us, for the non centaur units to move through. Um, which means the archers are just gonna get more shots at us while our guys try to get in position. Now they could come up here and block the bridge. Um, I'm not. Denying that. Can I search the boat? I guess not. Should I actually take a look at the map just to see if there's anything else? Like maybe down here on this island? I'm going to send him down. And we're just going to have a little look-see, I think, over in this area. He can catch up uh, pretty easily, I imagine. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, the bridge, yeah, they could block us off, but we can absolutely roast them with uh, Wendy's magic if they uh, form up like that. And uh, try to shoot us while we're on the other side of the uh, the river there. So I think this is gonna work out just fine. Uh, let's put you there. Yes, he's already having a hard time. We might actually be better off putting him up all the way up there. He's not gonna be great in the forest either, but uh, I think he'll be better off there than anywhere else. So just looking to see if there's anything that I can pick up down on this island. I don't know. It looked. Kind of suspicious. So I just wanted to check it out. I'm also going to check out this other island over here, I think. Now, I don't think Claude, if I uh, if memory serves, is going to be able to... fly over the actual mountains there. The, uh, the... Grey Mountains over here. Um, at least if it's like it was in... Shining Force 1. Um, I guess we will find out shortly enough. Those archers can actually move quite far. Alright. If I move you here, you're already on the other side of the bridge so they can't block us. It does put them in quite a lot of danger, but I think we can... catch up uh, in due time. I think I'll put you there so you're not at risk of getting shot. <laughs> yeah, nothing there either. I thought it was worth a try. I'm actually going to move him right about... Here, I think. 
And uh, we'll put you there. Oh, I actually didn't see that uh, that bat there, now that I think about it. Hello, you. That's awfully sneaky. A rat fly. Huge attack. Nothing on him. Um, yeah, it's also worth noting, I believe, uh, that... Uh, um, Claude isn't ever going to have any land effect since he can fly, which means he's not ever going to get any defense boosts, which does make him a little bit more vulnerable than he otherwise would be. Ooh, was not expecting that. Didn't think you'd be able to make it all the way over there, but uh, I've been proven wrong. Ooh, and a double attack on top of that. How rude. It's a nice background, too. I don't know. I like this map quite a lot. So first blood goes to the enemy, and there we go. Claude's going to get shot. <laughs> I uh, underestimated their movement range, and he's got a, maybe not so good of a defense, so yeah, it took a, quite a bit of damage there. That's okay, though. Um, I'm going to put you right here, and uh, I think you'll be fine. Just need Roost to get out of the way. And, uh, yeah, why don't we just put you right in the thick of it? Go after this rat man here. Eight points of damage? I mean, worst case scenario, he gets immediately killed and we lose the battle, right? <laughs> uh, I would love to have Shade right here, because he could do a lot of damage, but I guess we'll have to put him there. Now, you are, are actually going to stay here, so you can heal him. Because otherwise, he actually will be in quite a lot of danger. And uh, you need to at least get across the uh, the water here. And yeah, we need to get you across. And we'll get you across as well. And we'll start getting you moving. In. We do want to heal him as well. But I wanted uh, Cray to uh, keep moving forward. All right, so now they're going to go after Nick. That's fine. He's got a, mu a much higher defense, I think, by two or three points. Uh, yeah, he got a crit, and he still only took four damage. So I think we're going to be okay. Unless these rats are much tougher than I expected. They are not. <laughs> and I'm actually, I'm not even worried about Wendy here. Totally fine. Not a problem. That, uh, that early grinding did kind of set us up, I think, a little bit, those extra couple levels that we got. Uh, yeah, actually, this looks pretty good to me. Burn, baby. Burn. She should get quite a bit of XP out of this, I would imagine. Ooh, she even killed one. I was kind of hoping that wouldn't happen, but uh, that's okay. Yep. <laughs> Not too bad, she's level 9. Casters tend to level up pretty quickly, uh, I find, or the uh, the offensive casters, the wizards and stuff. Um, I'm actually going to put you over on this side. Just so we can make sure that we finish this guy off. And yeah, you're still getting quite a bit of XP from, uh, from those guys, so that's good. And now that you're here, um, we can use a little bit uh, less MP when we're healing. And you're actually well situated to just um, do an attack here, so that's fine. And hopefully Claude can finish this guy off for me. I'm not sure if he can or not. Um, I guess we'll find out. You, yeah, you go for the rat, man. That sounds good. And tell you what, why don't you go for the rat, man, as well. See what you can do. Very nice. And he got a medical herb, that's... I mean... <laughs> I'll take it, but... <laughs> I don't really want it. I might actually just end up immediately using that. Uh, we shall see. Here we go, very nicely done, Claude. He'll, uh, he'll catch up in levels fast enough, I imagine. Especially if we feed him a couple more kills in this fight.
Okay, um... Just sit tight for a second. I need uh, everybody else to catch up. You actually don't have to worry about catching up, though. So we might as well take a pot shot at the rat man with the spear here. Ooh, a double attack. Not bad. And you're level 9 as well. Alright, you're gonna regroup with everybody else. Now, who do we heal first? Probably... Uh, I think I'm gonna have you heal uh, Roos, actually. Oops, well... <laughs> yeah, the cursor didn't quite go uh, where I thought it was gonna go, and I got a little too uh, trigger-happy on the uh, select buttons there. <laughs> That's alright. We'll, uh, we'll have Wendy be healed first. Um, yeah, you just... Uh, Sit tight right there. And yeah, I'm gonna have you come up and uh, take a swing at this guy. I bet you can kill him. Very nice. Okay, it's, uh, this battle's been going pretty well so far. Pretty easy stuff. Okay, um... You're all set, so you just hang out. I mean, I guess we can do the same thing here. I doubt we're going to get the uh, the double attack again, but... Uh, we can still uh, get working on this guy. And, uh... Same deal here. Seven damage, we can just uh, hang tight and... Let him uh, get that kill when he's good and ready. Alright, so yeah, you come over here. Definitely need to heal Roos. He's actually starting to fall behind a little bit. He's a little slow, <laughs> uh, truth be told. So, I, I don't know. I have a feeling, just a hunch, I have a feeling Roos is going to get replaced before we're, uh, we're done with this, but we'll see. Even though he's an original Force member and it feels kind of bad, but like, not that bad. All right, so I think everybody's sorted out as far as healing goes. Um, Claude's about to get hit, probably. Oh, no Apis, whatever, either way. Um, I'll probably, if I can uh, catch up, have Kray just use his medical herb on Apis. And I th yeah, we'll put you there. I don't, I don't know that he's gonna be in range of uh, Kray otherwise. All right, easiest 49 XP my man ever got. What else we got to do here? We got to move you down. We gotta, you're actually having a lot of trouble keeping up as well. Surprises me. I thought um, thought you would be faster, but you're not. Hmm. Anyway, as per the plan, let's go ahead and uh, free up an inventory spot and uh, get a little XP on the side as well. Hey, leveled up a off a medical herb usage. How about that? He's still crushing it with the attack upgrades too. I feel like uh, he might be stronger than Sig over there by a uh, a decent amount. Twenty four, and he is level nine versus thirty. Yeah, <laughs> kind of a big difference between the two. So I. Th I think this is maybe the uh, the better route. What's well, the more direct route? I, I actually don't know that it's better, and I want to kill all those guys near the bottom anyway. So uh, we're gonna go this way, and we can check out this um, other island. I don't think I checked that one yet. And uh, you did actually get a level, so we may as well have you heal yourself for the extra 10 XP. Yeah, all this healing XP optimization is not something I uh, I paid attention to the first time I played the, the first Shining Force game, and uh, it was fine, actually. I mean, it's not a very difficult game anyway, but um, my healers were definitely fairly low level, as I recall. 
Um, we could probably put you there, even if the archer catches up. That's uh, maybe for the best, because he'll be far away from everybody else at that point. Yeah, that's that's exactly actually what I wanted to see. Um, you actually can't do anything. That's uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, I guess we'll move you like so. And whack him. Probably going to save Sig's remaining uh, MP. I think I'm going to put you there. I just want you to stay. I don't want him to attack. Shade has got no action this whole uh, battle here. We're going to use some of Claude's uh, movement here. We actually could use a heal as well, I'm just now realizing. And... Unfortunately, not much we can do there. It's not, not the end of the world, but... Um, Oh, wow, I was not expecting that bat to come over, but that's okay. Whew, ouch, my face. Uh, but good, yeah, Roos, yeah, come, come smack this uh, this rat fly out of the sky for me, will you? Nice chunk of XP there, I like it. Uh-oh, okay. Thought we were about to take a blaze, this might be almost as bad. No, not quite. This... Would be bad. Well, no, he only took four damage from a crit, so yeah, I think he's gonna be fine even with a double attack. We just need to uh, respect the uh, the bat. Do I kill this man with uh, a blaze? I guess I may as well. Just thinking about having somebody else uh, get the kill, but uh, it's fine. Okay, uh, you, I think... Oh, he can actually fly over the mountains, I'm, not, I'm just not realizing, so I guess I was wrong. We really need to make sure this thing dies, I think. And level 8, very nice. Okay, so now things get a little bit tricky. You're close enough to get healed, I think, by either... Sig or Cray, so I'm gonna have you come down. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm gonna leave you right there, and you're just gonna see if you can finish off the rat fly. A little bit risky, because if we missed and then got counterattacked, I think he would have actually died, but uh, it did not come to pass, thankfully. Now we can actually have you start uh, working on the Incubus. Almost immediately destroying the Incubus, in fact. And then, yeah, you just uh, hang out right there. Get a big fat heal off for a lot of XP. Almost put him back to full. And unfortunately, you can't quite get to where I want you to be, but we'll uh, still get you close. And still no blaze. Huh. I think I'm... well... I'm just trying to think of who I would like to have kill that man, but, uh... I think I'll just leave you right there for the moment. Yeah, and let's have, uh... Let's have you get a little bit of action. Kablam! We got an antidote, okay. Don't really need it or, or want it, but uh, it is mine now. I'll probably end up selling that. So that's going to be the last of our healing magic. Uh, except for, well, I think uh, Cray has one more close range cast, but uh, yeah. We're going to want to be somewhat careful from here on out, I think. It would be a shame to botch the uh, the fight this late into it. Uh, now that you're here, I think I uh, forgot I was going to go and take care of uh, searching that island real quick, so I'm going to do that. Let me take a look. So the mage is coming down this way. I'm going to move these guys through the mountains since they're already here, I guess. 
He actually could have came in and roasted me, but he didn't. Uh, that is good. <laughs> I did not want to get doubly roasted with a, uh, a Blaze 2 there. Alright, I can move up and attack this guy. It feels a little bit risky, but I think I'm going to go for it. Because if he stays there, the uh, the dwarf can attack me anyway. Yeah, and only... So basically, either he stays in and we get blazed, and then this guy comes in, or he moves, we get blazed, this guy comes in, or he moves, this guy comes in, and then this guy comes in. Doesn't really matter. I don't think any of those options are going to end in our death, so... Well, I'll tell you what, we'll put you right there. Uh, <laughs> we're not going to kill him. So uh, I think we'll just leave you right there. And we're just going to get attacked anyway. Really not a problem. That might be more of a problem, actually. Getting shot in the face with a uh, tank shell. Ow. <laughs> that didn't feel quite so good. But we can always withdraw Nick as well. And uh, move somebody else up. I actually don't want these guys to get too close yet. Alright, now you come in... ...with the spear and uh, you can make your attack like so. All right, I've looked uh, as best I reasonably can, I think. There's a couple more squares in the bottom that we might want to check out, but uh, for the most part, I think we've done our due diligence, so I'm going to leave it be. Actually, yeah, why don't you come up here and finish this guy off? Are you going to be the first to level 10? And we got another medical herb. Not quite level 10. Okay, App is about to take a... Uh, Tank show to the face as well, and it does hurt. But, um, I don't think we're in any particular danger just yet. Ah, uh, yeah, you just hang out in the back for a bit. That's a decent amount of damage. Can't really complain too much. And with that, I think we should be able to get a uh, a kill with uh, Claude there. I think I'm just going to leave you uh, right there. Alright, she can't do anything. You just uh, sit tight, but sit tight right there. Just don't kill the, uh, the hell... Was that a hell soldier? Seriously? Yep. <laughs> okay. Almost, uh, yeah, you could almost kill him. But, uh, not quite, thankfully. Alright, so Claude comes in, gets the kill. Possibly gets another level. Does not get another level. That's fine. And then you can come in and do one last heal for me. Yeah, all in all, I think this has gone pretty well. Let's see uh, what the Hell Soldier can do. Eh, not bad, but uh, the other units on the battlefield definitely more dangerous. And in fact, why don't you uh, take a swing at this guy while you're uh, in the area? Oh, he gets to go again, though. I was not expecting that. That makes him slightly more dangerous, I guess. But uh, not dangerous enough. I'm actually going to have Gong, or not Gong, Sig, rather. Keep getting them mixed up. Their sprites are somewhat similar. But I'm going to have Sig come in and uh, finish this guy off. 
Hey, level 10. There we go. And he... No, he... He learned some kind of spell. We'll, we'll have to look at that. Hey, it sounds like they're fighting. Let's go in. Well, uh... If there's enemies in there, they ain't gonna be happy. Uh, let's, uh... Take a look. Uh, let's see here. Where'd you go, Sig? Like, there you are. Oh, Dispel. Uh, I think that just silences an enemy, it, but again, kind of like muddle it. I don't think it works all the time. I don't know. I guess we should just try it once at some point. But, um... Yeah, it'll basically make it so an enemy can't cast spells, which, uh, you know... Could be useful, but it's probably more efficient just to kill them anyway. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Any anyway, we'll... Uh, We'll think about using them at some point. Uh, we don't need to see anybody else's shenanigans. We can try talking again real quick just to see. But, uh, yeah. All right. Nothing uh, nothing new there. So uh, I guess that'll do it this time. It sounds like there's uh, a little bit of a skirmish going on in the actual village itself. Uh, so next time, I guess we will see about sorting that out.